to your daily love reading this is for cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising and venus we will start out by getting your cards of focus today and advice oops all right cancer what does cancer need to know today in love All right, the altar priestess, preparation, prayer, and sacred ritual. Pisces, you have the rainbow prints, compensation and perseverance. And Scorpios, the fire prints, optimism and aggression in reverse. All right. So, Cancer with the altar, uh, the altar Priestess. I love this card. It says, The stage is set and the world is waiting for you to take your place in sacred meditation and prayer. As your ally, the Altar Priestess brings a ritual of reverent interaction with the mundane world. You're being required now to see everything as sacred. All of life as a meditation and every action as a prayer of devotion. When you are able to perceive the world in this way, your question will lead you to the appropriate answer. If all is sacred, how can anything go wrong? Ask how you can shift your consciousness to see the circumstances through the eyes of the divine, and you will realize just how perfect and sacred everything in your life is right now. Pisces. When the rainbow prince appears as your ally, he reminds you about the law of compensation and the law of receiving. After the rainstorm you've endured on your journey, the Rainbow Prince brings you a pot of gold, which is a result of your using all the elements of your inner light and reaching into the sky until you touch the material realm from one end to the other. This isn't always an easy process, and hard work must be rewarded by compensation. When you align yourself with the energy of giving the highest value, your compensation is inherent in the act itself. But the message here is more than that. The Rainbow Prince says to keep your sights on the sky after the rainstorms that have upset your life. Follow your bliss to the pot of gold waiting for you. Perseverance pays off and your reward will be greater than you can imagine. So don't give up, Pisces. And Scorpio. There are a couple of messages delivered by the Fire Prince, so take heed as one or both could pertain to you now. Be mindful of starting a fire you can't put out. Aggressive action results in loss. Slow down and don't be so eager to reach your goal. Stay clear of someone else's unbridled ambition and aggression as well. If you think you could get burned, you most certainly will, unless you remove yourself from the action. When the Fire Prince arrives as a challenger, he could also be warning you to be careful of burnout. This might pertain to work workaholism or obsessively focusing on something you want, excluding all else. You may be afraid to let go, but you must. If you keep going the way you are, truly, you won't have any energy left, nor will you see your way through the path. It is easy to get lost in the dark where there is no flame to light your way. All right. So we will start with Cancer here. Spirit Angels, what messages do Cancer need to know in love today? Please bring me the message for their best and highest good. Ooh, the devil just popped out. Cancer men. You have the tower. Somebody else had the tower. I don't remember who though. Cancer women. You have the queen of cups coming in in your own element at a very high vibration. Beautiful. Your situation you're dealing with today is the eight of swords. Your challenge is the king of pentacles. In the recent past, you have the king of cups. In the near future, you have the world. And the uh, foundation of your reading is the Five of Pentacles. The Hierophant is behind that. I'm going to take it just because 
it's the major arcana so you're you're finding um difficulty and cold times within a committed relationship um it is at the end of a cycle uh as with two tens here um and the five of swords under that so just keep that in mind uh you're feeling you're feeling the disconnect in this relationship oh i don't know what i have over my hand you're feeling the disconnect from whoever you are in a partnership with you also could be um, experiencing some difficult financial issues because of a separation um, but that will pass uh, very soon I'm just trying to decide what clarifying deck I want um, this also signifies like a dark night of the soul experience um, Yeah. Yeah, this is most definitely a rough patch of a long-term relationship. Um it does signify there is a possibility for um like oh what's the word I'm looking for? Salvation, like hope and salvation. If you want to make this work, you most definitely can. Um within this long-term relationship, uh, which I do feel for the females uh, is a possibility, but for the men, I do see this coming to an end. Right now, you're feeling um, stuck, like you can't go anywhere due to your stability. So some of you could maybe not work, um, and you're worried about your finances, like how are you going to move forward um, You know, with no money? Why is the Eight of Swords here for our Cancer men? And why is the King of Pentacles a challenge? Oh. If I could keep a hold of my cards. One card, thank you. So, bottom of this deck is the five of pentacles in reverse. So, you are going to get out of this difficult energy. Um, cancer men, you're coming, uh, you're coming forward with the truth about how your relationship has now felt become like a prison. Um, you feel like you're trapped, like there's no growth here, like there's no where to go. Um, your challenge is still providing um, for your family if you have children, um, you know, like child support I'm seeing. But uh, your challenge is to release somebody at the end of your cycle, at the end of its cycle. Um, this person makes you feel comfortable and stable, but I don't feel like the love is at the end of its cycle. But the stability is still there. So that is your challenge. Getting out of this place of being stuck. Um, even if it makes you feel a little uncomfortable. Uh, the tower is here. You know what? Let me get another clarifier. Okay. Okay. So, you have a choice to make cancer men. Um, unfortunately, I do see this as having two choices in love. Uh, the tower is coming. The upheaval is coming because you are finally making a decision, making a choice. Um, whether you stay and work it out um, or you walk away. I do feel in your past... With the King of Cups, you're there in your element in the upright with the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a 
a long-term commitment or a marriage that is coming to an end because the love has ran out. You feel like you're imprisoned by this relationship and you want to see what else is out there um, or you already have somebody waiting in the wings. But a, a completion a cycle is coming with this um, relationship feeling like it's expired almost. Um, why is the Two of Cups here with the World card? Why is the Two of Cups? Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with another, with a Cancer female, but you feel that the person that you were married to in the past is not the person that you want a new beginning with and you could have tried to make this work with this person in the past but you just feel like you're not on the same wavelength you're not on the same frequency here we do have the king of pentacles with the queen of pentacles so this is a husband and wife for the majority of you. If not, you've been together long enough, you might as well be um, because this is a very long-term connection um, coming to an end because you're wanting to start a, a new relationship with somewhere where you feel you can grow, somewhere where you can be who you're truly meant to be. This seed of intention was implanted, was planted quite a while ago. It is just now manifesting in the ending for this other connection is here because you're making the choice to move forward and work on a relationship with somebody else could be cancer pisces scorpio um and you're allowing the relationship that you're currently in to come to a close um a divorce or a a major life cycle with this person is coming in if uh if you're not married it's i mean it's still coming to an end but um you could be the one that's receiving the news or you could be the one that is um, giving the news. But one way or another, I do feel with the world card there and the tower that this relationship um, no longer serves you and you are moving um, away from this connection, Cancer men. Okay, Cancer females. You... Um, see why the eight of swords is here oops let's see why the eight of swords is here for you why is the eight of swords here for cancer females because you are very balanced in your emotions you um know exactly what you want so i'm not quite sure what this eight of swords is all about okay so the person that you feel is your perfect vibrational match is already married you most definitely could be dealing with a cancer male um and the person you're waiting on to start this new beginning with feels trapped in a different relationship once again could be the cancer male you're dealing with but um, they're feeling stuck, like they can't escape this marriage. Um, justice is at the bottom, so they are going to see their way out. Oops. Wow. So when clarifying the King of Pentacles, this person has been very silent. They could not be speaking at the moment because they're trying to figure out how to get unstuck, how to release the spouse, um, but they're just taking the time to themselves and um, really trying to figure out what to do. They are your challenge because they are who you want to move forward with. They are who you feel is your perfect match, which most definitely probably could be, but um, you need to take that leap of faith in yourself. You need to take, uh, like, start moving forward. Instead of sitting here waiting for this person to return, take that uh, trust in your own journey and your path and set out um, and they will come to follow. You were the third party in this situation. You were the mistress, but they are also your divine partner. Um, so be patient. They have a lot of healing to do. They have a lot of things to work through before they can come forward to you. But in the future, it will end in a twin flame or soulmate reunion. Um, 
most definitely, but they have to figure out how to get out of their own situation, out of their own way first. Why is it in the past? When the two of you um, first met, it was like instantaneous like attraction. Um, clarifying the King of Cups, they had, like you found them like so desirable. You had to have them type of energy. <laughs> they find you um, very like spiritually and uh, physically, mentally, very stimulating. Why is the Queen of Cups here for our Cancer females? Why is the Queen of Cups here? All right. You could have met this person through work, but um, most importantly, you're just really focusing on um, your work, your pinnacles. Knowing, you have like an intuitive knowing that they will return. You know that they are your twin. They know You know that you they are your soulmate. So you're really just focusing on getting your finances. You know exactly how you feel, what you want, and you're working hard to manifest that. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. My goodness, there's a lot of couples. Not like literal people, but um, you have the King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Wands, and the King and Queen of Pentacles. Why is the world here for Cancer females? So let's just add the King of Cups in there too. There's your perfect vibrational match. This person of your past has to end a major life cycle before they can be the person of your future. I do see it going both ways. This person is the same person in your future energy that could be ending and be done for good, or they could be ending their own cycle with their spouse and coming towards you in your direction because they are in your future energy, but they have to complete uh, that relationship first. They, you know, in order to do it right, they have to um, end that before they can come back, but they will be back in your near future. Um, Let's get one more. Yeah, right now they're focusing on uh, this low vibrational situations and energy they have in their um, immediate environment. But they do know that you still hold that cup for them. And it will end in a commitment. In a uh, reunion, union, commitment, marriage, however you want to look at it. Within this next moon cycle, Cancer, you your card in this next moon cycle, beginning of October, this is going to begin to move forward. Um, yeah, this is going to begin to manifest for you, Cancer females. All right, Cancers are done. Let's move on to um, Pisces. Let me get the cards in here quick so they're not all in there together. Okay. All right, Pisces. You know what? I'm going to switch decks here. All right. Spirit Angels, what messages do Pisces need to hear today in love? I ask you to bring their messages for their best and greatest good. Thank you. shuffle here. Yep, we're good to go. All right, Pisces. Pisces men, you have the Knight of Cups. Pisces females, you have the Five of Wands. In your guys' situation in love today, you have the Fool. Your challenge is Judgment. In the recent past, you have the King of Swords. In the near future, you have the Hermit. 
bottom of the deck and your foundation of the reading is the seven of wands. So um, having to um, fight for what it is that you want, but receiving the victory in the end um, with the seven of wands, it's like persevering over all else. You will be the winner in whatever it is you're trying to achieve, Pisces. All right, so for um, both men and women, you are needing to take the next step. You're needing to move forward, to move on, um, to set out on your single journey. Um, and your, uh, your challenge is hearing that wake up call, hearing the, you know, the call to get going, to start moving forward. Um, could be dealing with an Aries or Sagittarius or Virgo. We also got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius there. In the recent past, you either um, removed yourself from a relationship after realizing that you had outgrown it or they did and in the near future you will be moving towards a more reflective time a self um, evaluation of what is going on so um, pisces men you are uh, making a love offer to somebody let's see what that's all about why is a fool here for pisces men There's a fool here for Pisces men. Thank you. All right. So you are taking the next step. You are taking the leap of faith. You are creating and writing the next chapter of your life. Hello. My goodness. Look at this. New opportunities. Doors of abundance opening. Um, taking the opportunity to create and make it big. Um, with that Knight of Cups, you are... Um, taking that leap of faith you're putting yourself out there you're making that love offer and uh, they are taking you up on it from the way it looks why is the challenge to judgment all right so um, the challenge of the judgment is hearing that wake-up call letting things go that need to be let go of um, allowing change allowing the major life cycles in the end to um, come to a completion point, which I do believe for you, Pisces men, um, you have done that. You have let go, and now you are ready to move forward and start that new chapter. Um, for some of you, you could be dealing with somebody who needed to hear the wake-up call, so you could move forward with them. Um, so that could be your challenge as well. They could be uh, needing to release something in their own life, um, doesn't have to be another person. It's just something that is standing in the way of the two of you being able to um, come together fully. So why is the King of Swords? Oh, let's get the Knight of Cups. Why does Pisces men have the Knight of Cups? Who are they making this love offer to? What is that? Wow. You're making a love offer to somebody who wants to receive the love offer, the equal give and take. You're both bringing your full cups to the party and you can both share an equal amount because they're both overflowing. They're both full and ready to love each other, ready to fully commit to this connection. Why is the King of Swords in the past? You could have walked away from the situation Pisces in the past because they had something in the way. You had to remove yourself from the situation you had to get your own life right um, in order to be able to move this. Yeah, you, there was too much competition in the way. So you removed yourself as an option. You moved forward instead of trying to offer them um, something that you felt they weren't going to take anyways. So you did walk away creating um, this need to from this other person to move things forward. They are hearing the call. And they are um, removing all the other competition or you are doing this, Pisces. Um, removing all other options and committing to one. Um, why is the hermit here in the future? Why is he here? Whoa, way too many. Why is the hermit here in the future for Pisces men? Whoa. All right, so yeah, this is coming after some si a time of silence between the two of you. They needed to get out of another relationship, but now we do have an equal vibration and a perfect pair, quote unquote. Um, but they had to go through their own transformation, and they had to take this time away 
or you did Pisces men in order to both be free and clear of any other entanglements that would hinder the relationship. Um, they are, when you go silent, Pisces, or yeah, Pisces men, when you walk away removing yourself as an option and go silent, they are going to realize they have to change their ways in order to come towards you. Um, and when you, when they change your ways, you make this offer, it is reciprocated. Or when you remove the other competition that you have um, after being silent towards this person you are both moving forward either way a love offer is being made it's being reciprocated and the two of you are starting a new chapter um, amazing energy for you Pisces men all right Pisces females you have a lot of competition and conflict in your space I'm feeling a little bit of a drama that is going on in your life Okay, why is the fool here for our Pisces females? Why is the fool? Thank you. And why is judgment here? Why is judgment their challenge? Queen of Swords. So you could be dealing with a Pisces as well, but um, why is the King of Swords here? And the Hermit. Cool. Okay. So you have the Seven of Cups at the bottom of your deck with the Seven of Wands. This is having to try to defend your honor to try to defend your name, try to convince somebody of your value and your worth because they have a lot of options in their space or you do. Um, in your situation today, you have uh, the fool. You need to move forward single, um, putting some faith in your own journey, um, investing in your own happiness because you should never have to talk somebody into how much they value you which I feel like you have to do. You're defending how much value you bring to the table. You're defending your worth to this person when it's not worth the words. It's time for you to move forward and take that leap um, by yourself. The challenge of today with the judgment is hearing the wake-up call that you shouldn't have to be doing this. Um, the challenge is you removing yourself from the situation uh, and, and walking away from this person. The energy that you have is a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, a lot of rumors, a lot of immature communication, um, and ultimately you are walking away from it. You have had enough, um, and you're starting to see this person's true colors. In the past, uh, there was a lot of, um, you, they, you were attracted to this person because they took charge. They knew how to take action. You felt like they brought a positive um, aspect to your life but the sun is here to reveal and illuminate who this person really is and and you're realizing this isn't what I'm wanting this isn't what I'm hoping for or wishing for or praying for um, the sun is illuminating this person's actions and why you shouldn't have to do this and why you need to remove yourself from the situation um, in your future energy uh, you're going to take some time away from the world. You're going to um, do some inner work, some reflection after an upheaval in your life. Um, a relationship is is um, coming to an end here uh, for you Pisces females. Um, but it, was, it needs to come to an end. This person is toxic for you. Um, with these two together, you or them may have an addiction that um, it's only going to be constant drama, constant fighting, constant toxicity. There is a strong need for you to release this relationship. Um, it's it's going to be an upheaval, but it's better than having to try to talk somebody into how much they value you. Um, instead, there you know there's a lot of disrespect here. I'm seeing with this, and. Um, just not very good positive energy for you, Pisces. This person makes you feel like you've done something wrong when you haven't. 
like, what do they call that, gaslighting, make you feel crazy, like, it's time to let this go, because when you let go, you will clearly be the winner in this situation. So it's time to make plans for your future and move forward um, towards a new beginning. All right. Scorpios. Let's see what you have going on today. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do our Scorpio friends need to know in love? Please bring them a message that's for their best and greatest good. Scorpio. Scorpio men, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Scorpio females, you have the Nine of Cups. In this situation in love today, you have Temperance. Your challenge is the Two of Swords. In the recent past, you have the uh, Princess of Cups. In the near future, you have the Devil. Uh, the foundation in the bottom of your bottom of the deck and foundation to your reading is the ace of pentacles so this is a new beginning for um for you guys this is something that you have planted a long time ago um you could have been trying to get something in love off the ground <clears throat> um both of you male and females need to remain patient remain in the moment don't get so lost in your past memories or wishes of the future that you forget to enjoy today um it's time to uh really gain that inner peace to find that self-healing that self-love that self-respect that um self-assurance that everything's going to be okay but most importantly um it's time for you to uh oh what's the word i'm looking for well, your challenge is to make a decision, to take that blindfold off and to see things um, going on around you and make a choice based on what you know is fact and not just what you hear. So um, put your trust in your own ha uh, heart and soul. Follow your intuition. But most importantly, it's going to take some time. Uh, but first things first, you or someone you're dealing with needs to make a decision. So, why is temperance here for our Scorpio men and for the Two of Swords? Okay, so Scorpio men, you're dealing with somebody of your past. You are, like I said, you can't uh, get stuck in your memories of the past and hopes for the future. You have to live for today. Um, this is a past life connection. It is also the need to heal something from your childhood um, where you didn't feel there was a whole lot of love given or um, or it was immature or superficial. There is something from the past that needs to heal so you can make the conscious choice to release yourself from that mental anguish that that you could like almost sabotage your happiness because of what happened in your childhood. Um, you're scared it's going to happen in your adulthood, but on the other side of the situation. So make the choice to take off that blindfold. Once again, they're both blindfolded. Make that choice. That's your challenge today. Look at your fears and your scars face or head on and know that you have the strength to face whatever is in your way, mental or emotional or physical, um, and be patient with yourself while you heal. Um, know that healing is here for you, but it's going to take some time. Um, why is the princess of cups? Whoa. Yeah. So this is something that you put a blindfold on to your past. Um, you felt you didn't have enough love or there's something in something there with a family situation. So once again, in your past, you just put the blindfold on and didn't make a choice, but now it's calling for you in order to move forward. You have to take those blindfolds off. 
The Two of Swords is in the reverse as your challenge. Um, so it, the need for it is very apparent. Um, make sure you are patient with your growth. Um, why is the Seven of Pentacles here? What you plant today will grow tomorrow. Um, but it takes work. You can't skip a season. You have to put in the work before it can come in for you. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for our Scorpio men? Scorpio men. Mm, that one just, yep, there it is. The High Priestess. Death at the bottom. So, leaving the past in the past. Shedding the old you. You are not that same person. You are not your parents. You are not your ancestors. You are a new person ready for a new life and new love. Finding and working through those internal things that you have not told anybody. Um, these are things that you have kept secret, um, held in, buried. Uh, when you go within and balance out and heal from the things of the past, re, you know, coming through the spiritual rebirth, so much more balanced. Um, you will um, succeed. However, it is going to take time, so please be patient with yourself. Um, wow, and the near future coming in for you is the devil and the tower. So you are breaking the, your, oh, what, do you, what do I want to call it, the paradigm. You're no longer going to let anything tie or chain you to your past. You are blowing that up. This tower is doing you the best amount of justice possible. This is internal growth, strength. Um, no longer allowing the devil to hold you back. Breaking the bond that this has held on you since childhood. You are blowing that shit up, Scorpio men. Finding justice and bringing in balance to your life and investing in your own happiness is going to bring you this beautiful door of opportunity and a new beginning in your life. Wow, Scorpio men, congratulations. By you facing this head on that has kept you trapped for so many years, you will blow that up. It will no longer affect you or your relationships, and it will make you feel so free. That is so amazing. All right, Scorpio females, you have put your prayers up to the heavens, and the heavens have heard you. You must be patient it is coming in for you. They have been heard and it is being worked on is what I'm hearing. Why is a temperance here for Scorpio females? And two of swords. Why is the two of swords here as their challenge? The princess of cups. Holy shit. Scorpio females. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll get there in a minute. Okay, so the situation you're dealing with today is um, you need to heal from someone who, uh, or something that you were rejected from in the past. Um, what you don't realize is uh, rejection is God's protection. While you may have been rejected by these situations, people, places, things on the bottom, what you don't see is is they are not worthy of your time or energy. The universe is trying to hand you this big, beautiful cup of high vibration and opportunity and love. Um, you will you will realize this and see what the universe is trying to show you when you take some time to yourself and find that inner peace, that balance, and that healing that needs to happen from um, past things that did not work out. Uh, your challenge to that is taking off the blindfold and seeing why this person rejected your commitment, why it didn't work out, why um, did they not see what you had to offer? These are the questions you're asking yourself. Um, putting the blame on you. When if you were to take your blindfold off, you would realize they don't spiritually, emotionally, or mentally line up with you in 
in life. You both want different things. You're both going different places. Like I said, rejection is spirit's protection. You have put your prayers up to the universe. They have heard you. And you are in turn manifesting what you are asking for. Your ships are coming in and things are coming your direction. You have to be patient though. Um, because one step at a time. We can't skip seasons. Um, we have to uh, move forward. For some of you, you had a divorce in the past that was not your choice. And you need to heal from that. Um, in the recent past, there was an apology um, from that you received or you gave, um, but it wasn't enough. It did not meet your, or it did. How do I want to say that? It did not meet you where you were on your path. So, an apology was received, but a delay still had to happen, or a love offer was made, but it couldn't move forward just yet because you still had to work on. Um, you know, getting your vibration up, working on um, investing in yourself and finding that healing. It's all going to happen in divine timing and divine timing was not here for you. Um, the universe is bringing it in for you. However, um, you're not able to manifest it quite yet because there is some toxicity that most definitely needs to be released so you can get your new beginning. I'm going to get another clarifier on these. Why is the devil here in the near future? So there, um, you know, the obvious is there could most definitely be some addictions there that need to be uh, broken free from. Yeah, you need to move forward and away from this totally toxic situation, whether it be, um, you know, being bonded in a marriage, whether it be bonded in a relationship that's abusive, whether it be um, bonded by addictions. Um, there's a lot of things I'm seeing with the double uh, devil, but most importantly is that you are moving away from that successfully. You are removing yourself from uh, the toxic situation um, and moving forward towards victory, getting ready to do your victory lap. Um, also, in the time of Capricorn, you're going to see the most success um, within your personal growth. I want one more on that since it's another major arcana. Why is the chariot here? The eight of pentacles. It's going to take a lot of hard work. It's going to take a lot of, you know, putting your best foot forward day after day, even doing the work when you can't see the gains. Um, the eight of pentacles is all about working hard to bring the spiritual into the material. You put a lot of work in before you see a physical uh, manifestation of all that time spent. So you're going to have to put in work and, and you're going to have to um, be very dedicated to moving forward to, um, you know, break free from the toxicity, whatever that may be to um, you. But what is so amazing is you are going to be successful, victorious, um, and abundance will be pouring in. So follow your intuition, have faith that your blessings are coming in, but you have to put in the work and this delay is needed. Um, so you can find that healing and move forward um, in a healthy manner to be able to uh, get this abundance that you are hoping for um, moving forward. Your, your day is about here, your day to shine, your day to find success. Um, just continue to have faith in the prayers that you have given to source and know that your angels are working, um, over time to answer those prayers. So, all right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. God bless.